Boys and girls, good day to you again. How are you today? I'm fine. I can see that all of you are fine too, smiling. All right. Now, today let us go on to another subtopic in electricity, which is the subject of power. Power equals to I multiplied by V. That is our subject for today. And uh, just before we do that, I would like to advise you. Now, you must try to understand that what I am giving to you is the best. So, whatever I say, you follow. And whatever I give, you swallow. <laughs> Correct or not? You just follow my advice, you won't go wrong, okay? Alright. Now, output revision is so important. What I'm saying is that when you have a book, don't be tempted to just want to read from cover to cover to prepare for your examination. The idea is to rehearse, answer past year questions. That is the best. So now I am guiding you to answer another past year question. And this is from SPM 2006. Look at question 40. Diagram 26 shows an electric circuit. The reading of the emitter is 0.2A and the reading of the voltmeter is 2.8 volts. Calculate the, the electrical energy released by the bulb in 2 minutes. So this is a very basic and simple concept but you must get all the basics so that you will understand and you will get it right. So I'm going to show you what we are going to do. But before we do the calculation, let us recap. From this list, what is the formula that we need to use? Remember in one of my lessons before, I said that it's very important to know the formula inside out. I hope you have done your homework. Alright, P equals to IV would be one of the main formulae that we need. Now what else? We are asked to calculate the electrical energy. So look at this. Power equals to energy divided by time. Alright. So now let us get on to the calculation. I would like to highlight for you. What did we say? Alright. Power equals to IV. That is our main title for today because it has to do with electrical power and energy. And over here we relate Power with energy divided by time. So these are the two things that we will need to uh, look at. We will need to use these two formulae and do our calculations. Let's take a look at the question again. This is the question. Alright, I'm going to write a few things here now. First and foremost, when we do a simple straightforward calculation, first thing is, Write down everything that has been given, line by line. What is the first thing? Emitter reading is given. So, what is the quantity? Current. Okay, very good. So, the electric current I is given as 0 0.2 amperes. Write it down. And what else is given? Voltmeter reading. The potential difference V is equals to 2.8 volts. What else given? Calculate the electrical energy release in 2 minutes. Okay, 2 minutes. What is the quantity? Time. We use small t equals to 2 minutes. Wonderful, isn't it? 2 minutes. And we must change this to seconds. Okay, good. 2 multiplied by 60 and this is in seconds so we have written down we have listed every single quantity and the values given to us so what do i need to calculate now energy energy release all right calculate the energy that's what i want to do now all right so let us take a look at this Look at the formula just now, P equals to IV. P equals to IV. So, power P equals to IV. 
V. Now what is I? I is 0 0.2 amperes. Alright, and what is V? 2.8 volts. Now here I would like to remind all of you boys and girls, write down the units. I know that in some of the books that you read, they do not write down 0 0.2 A. What they do is they just put 0 0.2 multiplied by V. V is 2.8. Alright, and then over there suddenly the answer is in watts. Okay, 2.8 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.56 watts. Now, look at this line that some books do. How can 0 0.2 times 2.8 suddenly give 0 0.56 watts? What I'm saying is that this second line here, when they don't write down the units, this is bad for your health. Okay, because... 0 0.2 times 2.8 is not physics, it is mathematics, it's numbers. What I'm saying is that you must write down the units. Because if you don't write down the units, how come 0 0.2 times 2.8 give you 0 0.56 watts? Why doesn't it give you 0 0.56 durians? Or 0 0.56 proton saga? Or Mercedes Benz? It doesn't make sense, right? Okay. So you see, I'm really passionate about these units. Alright, let me show you. Let me show you a better way. Alright. Let me show you the standard way. 0 0.2, it has to be amperes. Write down amperes. Multiplied by the voltage is 2.8 volts. Now to me, this is not even enough. To understand physics, go one more step. What is another unit for ampere? Ha, ah, good. Some of you telling me it's coulomb per second. Excellent. Very important. 2.8. What is another unit for the volt? We have done it before. It's joule per coulomb. Ah, now you see it. Now, you see it very, very clear. Alright? Can you see the coulomb here? Divided by the coulomb, you cancel it off. So, what is left behind? Now, I get 0 0.56 joule per second. And joule per second is actually the unit for what? Now, to me, this is physics. You need to have the units. Every step of the way, it becomes very clear. Ah, now we go to the formula page again. And what do we see? We see that power equals to energy divided by time. Power is energy divided by time. The question wants energy. Alright, so what is energy? Energy will give us power multiplied by time. Remember the units. Okay, now what is my power here? My power here, just now we have worked it out. It is 0 0.56. 0 0.56 joules per second. What is the time? Two minutes, right? So, which is 120 seconds. Look here, boys and girls. I have mentioned it many times. I cancel the second. I cancel the second. What is left? Joules. What is energy? Is in joules. Now, when you use correct units, you are actually checking. Automatically, you are checking whether you are doing the correct thing or not. Because if you have done something wrong, your final units will not be in joules. Alright? So, when you work this out, all of you should be able to get the answer 67.5. Two zero joules. All right. So basically, this is a very simple concept that uses only two basic formulae. What is the first one? P equals to IV, and relate it to power P equals to energy divided by time. And from here, we can calculate the energy. And I have also shown you the importance of writing units all the way step by step. Because 
it gives you a very good physics mind. It gives you a very standard physics concept. Then you will understand physics and you become very good at it. Now, so with this, I hope that you go back home, look out for other problems from this subtopic, work it out, especially the past year questions, and then you will do very well. And with that, I would like to say thank you very much. Again, may God bless you.